Hey, what up, YT? They call me Ace. Next, we're going to be drawing Mako from Kill L Kill. If you are a fan of Mako Mankan Shoku and would like a chance to win this piece, we are giving it away. We're going to give you details later on in this episode. Let's go! Let's dance. Starting with a light pencil sketch, like I do. First things first, let me get into the details of the free giveaway. If you are interested in winning this piece of Mako Mankan Shoku from Kill a Kill. Of course, you would have to be a subscriber and you have to like the video. I can't imagine you wanting to win the painting, liking it, but not liking the video. Kind of goes hand in hand. And the way the game is actually going to work is that I have myself a little bingo set, so People can guess randomly, whatever number that you choose, from number 1 through 54. Each person has only one guess, of course. We're going to archive it, and then we'll show the results. And then we'll get in contact with whoever the winner is via email. This will be fun. This is all for promotional use. Trying to build on our fan base, um, build on the audience. You get it. So yeah, once again, if you're interested in a chance to win this piece of Mako Mankan Shaku from Kill a Kill, or if you just want to win it anyways for whatever your own reasons are, comment your numbers from 1 through 54 down below. We will repeat all this again at the end of the video. This is a long video. I didn't expect it to be this long, but uh, we're giving it from head to toe, top to bottom, beginning to end, the whole process of us painting it. After the pencil sketch, we darken our lines with a, I don't even know the brand, but it's some regular regular marker. We do that so that when we paint on top of it, we can see the lines still. It's not necessary to do that. A lot of times you'll still see the pencil lines on light colors anyways. And plenty of artists don't do that at all in the first place. They just go in all paint, just out there without a net. Those guys are nice. But I myself personally like to see the blueprint of what I started already still within the piece as I paint on top of it over it. Of course, it's much easier to do that when sketch drawing or doing it graphically. So I guess I'm saying I gotta get better, right? Do better, be better, level up. We'll get there. After this marker line run, we're gonna start getting into painting with the background first. All right, let's get to these acrylics. I believe the technique that I'm starting off with is called the feathering technique. When, as you can see with the brushes, I'm using one brush for the orange, one brush for the red, and then I use another brush in between in the middle to blend the colors. Same for the other side, I use the orange and I use the yellow, a third brush for the yellow, and then blend again with a different brush. I'm not positive on if that's exactly what it's called and everything. Again, I don't really know what I'm doing. I just know that I know how to draw, and then I just try it in different mediums. About Kill Out Kill though, it's an anime, Japanese animation. I don't remember what year it came out in, but it was maybe early 2000s, mid 2000s, sometime around then. I enjoyed watching it. I enjoyed watching it very much so. It's one of those animes that are far out there. The storyline and plot is way out there. It is over the top. It is high octane action style anime. And there are some heartfelt moments, I want to say, but that's only if you're willing to like just turn your brain off and really enjoy it. My head be in the cloud, so that's easy for me. But if you find it to be ridiculous, then those moments will also be ridiculous to you, I think, in my personal opinion. It is a wee bit vulgar and packed with melodrama and a whole bunch of butts and boobs. If that's what you're into, I'm into it. I guess that says something about me. And that is what they call fan service in the anime community. I have no complaints, but I do understand why someone will have more of a higher moral ground on it and the whole objectifying women kind of conversation to it. I get that. I still like to watch and I still continue to do so. Kill a Kill is an anime that I enjoy very much so, but I wouldn't say it's like one of those top five animes for me. It's not something that I recommend much to people, again, because of how wild this story is. But it's great action. And I, again, I really, I really enjoyed it. Spoiler alert, just in case I say something that might be given too much of the plot away, but it's pretty much about this girl who is investigating the death of her father 
And by doing all that, she ends up going to a school where it's like the social status is based off of your... Well, the social status at the school determines where you live. And she's pretty much fighting these classmates, um, captains of each of these different clubs who are powered up by their Goku uniforms. She has a uniform of her own, Senketsu, which is a sentient being. Something like an alien, I think. I might be wrong, but yeah, I think it's something like an alien. It kind of follows a bad guy of the week formula in the Goku uniform of the week. She's fighting a different person each week. This particular piece is inspired by episode seven, an actual scene in episode seven, when Mako, who is a loud and funny character, she's pretty much like comic relief throughout the whole thing, but she herself is also very vulgar. And she's just a joy, honestly. She has unfiltered energy and is just the perfect best friend. Well, maybe not perfect, but she is a great best friend, especially to Mako. I'm sorry, not Mako, Ryuko, um, the protagonist. Anyway, the story takes a far left turn and then becomes a whole nother thing. And I'm not here to promote the story or, you know, trying to have you go check it out. I liked it. I enjoyed it. Um, so I painted Mako from it. This is why we are here right now. If you find any of this interesting at all and are a anime lover or want to get into it in any way, shape or form and haven't seen this yet, sure, go check it out. Um, enjoy your own life. Have fun. Again, it worked for me. I've even rewatched it a few times too. I'll do it again. I, I like the show. Also, the music. It's not like every song is a banger, but like it has a good three, four tracks that I'm, I'm just like, wow, those songs are dope. One of them being the, okay, hopefully I don't screw up saying this, Blumenkrantz. I think that's how it's called. That's like the, the villain anthem. That beat is tough. That, 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 that beat go hard. I enjoy it. The quality of the animation, though, it has a lot of dynamic shots. As I mentioned, it's very high octane action. But sometimes it just like drops very low to this very, I don't know, a goofy or it, it just downplays on itself on the animation, which I'm fine with. It doesn't bother me. It's noticeable, but it doesn't bother me at all. I also really like the nudist beach thing. The whole group of people there that is like a resistance to the whole. I don't know what to call it. I guess it's like a totalitarian system, right? So there's a resistance going up against the whole empire. Something like that. I haven't watched it in a while. I would have to go rewatch again. But yeah, they're trying to take down the establishment. And it's, it's, it's cool. The nudist beach party thing has actually inspired me to create something of my own called the nudist tea party, which I don't know what it stands for, what it does. It has no purpose, none whatsoever. I just liked what I saw in the show and wanted to make a version of my own in some way or form. And I just really started with the name. That's all. I, li I like to drink tea. I've been drinking tea since I was a wee lad. My mom would used to make me tea and gun. In the painting, you'll see me double back on some of the layers to get more color in. Sometimes I have like white spaces depending on how the color spreads. I don't really understand the science to it all. But some colors are more opaque and some other colors are more transparent. It depends on the brand you buy and everything like that. Again, I don't really know what I'd be doing. But I'd be buying mainly acrylic paint. I have some oil paints, but I have no idea how that system works at all. And I'm only just learning the acrylic process. I know that it isn't... I don't want to say it isn't too difficult. It's definitely more difficult than acrylic paint. I know it stays wet longer, which makes it easier to blend colors. That's a bonus for the oil painting side. So I guess it depends on the artist that you are and how you execute. But personally, I'm just getting used to acrylic paints. Not just getting used to it, but I've been getting used to acrylic paints and still learning those different techniques and building on my foundation. And I'm gonna use this free giveaway thing also as a way to build. I will be attempting to do these free giveaways once a month. And it won't be starting until next year. So this piece here will be gifted away in January of 2024, but you can um, request your place now, of course. I failed to mention that also Patreon members get first dibs on the numbers, so I go to my Patreon first and check those numbers out, and then I'll, I myself will post those numbers on the YouTube in the comments down below, so if anyone goes down, they'll, they can see which numbers aren't available anymore. I'll also comment on anyone if they've accidentally put a number that's already been registered by someone else. And on top of that, 
if you have done that, I will shift your number to the nearest number, north or south to the number that you picked that is available. So I won't just discount you because you picked a number that was already picked. I'll just change your name to a different number position, that the closest number position that is available. Another thing I'm trying to figure out is the, the finishing process, the, the garnish, no, no, I'm sorry, the varnish and the gloss, which are two different things. And then that golden product, the brand name is golden, that separates. See, I, I can't even articulate it to you properly because I don't know what I'm talking about. But I'm going to take the time, put in the effort to actually learn how to execute. Maybe look into finding a teacher or a mentor of some sort. Skillshare. I'm already joined on Skillshare, Skillshare so I should check that out. See what I can find to help ease the process. Because we're going to be doing a lot of these. You mentioned that before that we're going to try to, we're going to start off with it once a month, but we have some previous paintings that we'll throw into the mix too, the ones that we feel we can part from quickly. Of course, everything must go, but it's all for sale in this built-in gallery. So the pieces that we think or feel like, yeah, we'll use this as part of the promotional use, we'll put it up. We won't be having a video for it because it'll already be done unless I do a repainting, which might be an option that I take, honestly. Who knows? Only the future can tell. But yeah, we're going to try to get to the point where we can start doing it two times a month. But we're getting ahead of ourselves now. We're only going to start with once a month for now. Starting in 2024. That now. <laughs> I will also be participating. I'm going to put my hat in the ring. Hat in the ring? Is that how the idiom goes? Well, I will be guessing the number two is what I need to say. And if I win the painting back, then yeah, it just stays within this built-in gallery and then just goes for sale. Or maybe I decide to raffle it off again. Again, I don't know. It depends on how I feel at the time. It took us several days to finish this piece. We took a, a lot of breaks in between. Um, again, this is from episode seven, an episode in which Mako becomes captain of the Fight Club, I believe. Yes, Captain of the Fight Club. It's a fun episode. She fights up against Ryuko in that episode. And again, I don't know what it is, but it's something about her. It's something about her that I just love. My, my homie Sammy, he would get it. He would understand too. Definitely. But yeah, she's a joy. I won't be recording the finishing touches here in this video. Maybe when it comes closer to January, while promoting it again to fill in the rest of the numbers, we'll then show the recording of how we do the finishing touches for it, and then, you know, signing it off to the signature. But for this video, yeah, we're just going to end it with what we have here. We're not what we have here right now. We gotta, we got more steps. Obviously, you can tell by how much time is left in the video. <laughs> I've just been ambushed to wear this. It's my sister's gender reveal, her second kid. We are, I don't understand you, this next generation. These, the gender reveal, really? Whatever, this is neither here nor there. This is her second child. We are hoping for a girl because my genes tends to produce, my family genes tend to produce more boys. A lot of nappies. We'll see. Anyways, back to the matter at hand. Now that this has been explained and covered, we are getting into the black line finish. Of course, as y'all know how I get with a black line finish, if you are privy to what we do on this channel. We um, nitpicked a couple of things. We got inside and fixed some things before we went into the black line finish. We're still not done. We still see some discrepancies. We still see some things that we want to go back in and finish. We have a bit of a perfectionist complex around these parts. You'll see me moving the canvas based on how comfortable it is for me to try to get these lines done in one good stroke without messing up what I've already painted on the board. I use a paint marker called, not called, the brand is Montana. It's a Montana acrylic paint marker. The one that I'm using here is a refill one and the 
ink that I'm actually using or the acrylic paint that I'm actually using, which is a watered down base paint, I think. It's not Montana brand though. I forget what brand it is. I do wish that I did use a Montana brand. I feel like the blacks would have came in more rich, more dark, which is why you'll see even over here that I go back and go over some lines once or twice also for the contrast. Or for it to pop out is what I mean. Also, for the raffle, we'll be giving away some spilting stickers and whatever other spilting products we may have at the time. The Look Kill actually came out in 2013. I had to fact check myself. Back to the game rules. Any slots that are left empty, any numbers that haven't been picked at all, will go back to the built-in gallery. We only started with 54 because we are a small channel over here. So as we continue to grow, it'll be more than just 54 slots. But to begin with, 54 slots. That's, that's, that's where we're at right now. Thank you for participating. Greatly appreciate it. And here is Mako. As far as shipping goes, we are established in the U.S. So if you live in the U.S., we got you covered. If you live outside of the U.S., we will have to talk via email. Another one done, son. Mako Mankan Shoku, Fight Club President. If you are interested in winning this piece in our Spill Tank raffle, you are going to guess a number from 1 through 54. Leave it down in the comments below. First come, first serve. Patreon members get first dibbed. You'll see their numbers down in the comments below too. We will keep in contact via email. And this is for January of 2024. So the winner won't be revealed until January of 2024. I think that's the gist of it. Yeah, follow me at Spill Tank Ace. You can follow me on IG or TikTok. Patreon's also at Spill Tank Ace. Thank you for your time. Thank you for sticking around if you stuck around for this long. All right, I'ma holla at you later.